Hello, everybody. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Um, it's a beautiful spring day here in Atlanta, and I hope wherever you are, if you're having a beautiful day too. Um, I am here today to kick off my very first episode in a series that I'm going to be doing for the rest of the year called Sensational Saturdays. And as you might get, probably can guess, um, we're going to be focusing on scents um, or fragrances on Saturday. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Arlita Lisa Washington. Most people who know me on Facebook and social media know me as Beauty Boss Lisa. And um, I want to say welcome. Thank you for stopping in. And if you happen to be looking, listening or watching the replay, which is what most of uh, my viewers and the people that I connect with do, they watch the replay, then I want to say thank you to you. And please drop me a hi emoji, a wave, a hello, anything just to let me know that you stopped by. All right, so you saw the um, um, the, the title of this um this first sensational Saturday is Remember Gina Tay um, Body Splash. And um, and I just, you know, when I think about Gina Tay, it takes me way, way, way back. So um, I'm also known as a storyteller. So I'm going to start this off by um, just telling a little story. Um, my first memories of uh, fragrances, dealing with fragrances, uh, are of uh, my grandma and my mom, my dad's mom. My dad's mom always had a couple of bottles of perfume on her dresser, sitting in a little mirror tray, and they were from Sarah Coventry. So a company that she bought jewelry from, she also bought perfumes from Sarah Coventry. That's where she got most of her fragrances. Even though she stopped in Belks and JCPenney's and um, Macy's and many of the um you know, what we consider high-end um, stores, especially back when I was a little girl. Those were considered very high-end stores. Um, she still bought fragrances from Sarah Coventry. I had no idea why. But I used to go in. I used, I know I used to get into it. I love to spray it. And she always knew. I, I don't care what happened. She would come home hours and hours later. She always knew I sprayed it. It was the darnest thing. I was just too young to understand how fragrance worked. Anyway, my other memory is of my mom. Now, my mom used the same perfume most of the time I was growing up. I don't know what the name of it is. I don't. What I remember is that it was in a heart-shaped bottle. And so she also had a mirror tray on her dresser, didn't, different one than my grandma. And she kept her perfume in that mirror tray, um, along with a few pieces of lipsticks, a couple of lipsticks, things like that. And... Um, so I didn't know what the name of it does, but what I remember about my mom is she also had a little travel size bottle shaped like a heart in her purse. And I know that, you know, when we would go to the grocery store, she before we would go in, she would turn that bottle upside down, screw the top off, turn it upside down, and then she would dab behind her ears and on her wrist and right in her decollete. So um, I learned where to put my fragrance based on watching my mom. <laughs> And so those are my earliest memories of fragrances. But the first, very first fragrance that I fell in love with myself was Jean Nate Body Splash. So I remember that um, it was after Mother's Day and everything that wasn't sold during Mother's Day was sold, was marked down. And I got a little gift set that was a travel size, um, what I don't, not many, but a less than full size bottle of Gina Tay body splash. And also it had a little bottle of lotion and all a small dusting powder. And so um, I bought that and I fell in love, but I was so frustrated after I started using it because I felt like whoever invented body splash should be hit, throw, have a brick thrown at them because who thought body splash was a great idea? That I was like, haven't these people heard of spray bottles? Because you ship that stuff out and it just, it just fell through your fingers and you lost over half of it trying to get it on your body. But I love putting it on after my bath. My bath back then was, you know, um, strawberry bubble bath and um, uh, Calgon. <laughs> So, or um, milk bubble bath and Calgon. But anyway, um, that all, those are my earliest memories of uh, fragrances. And it started out with um, a body splash. 
And so it wasn't until years later that I became um, a part of the beauty industry that I started to understand fragrances. For instance, I know fragrances is, is categorized based on how much oil is in it. So if it has a lot of oil, it's a perfume, a little less than that, and it's a toilet, a little less than that, and it is a cologne. And then at the very bottom is a body splash or a body mist or a body spray. Because yes, eventually after Gina Tay went away, they figured out that that thing needed a spray, something to spritz. Okay, so um, needless to say, um, they changed the formula a couple of times. I've been, I did some research a couple of years ago and what I found out is that, you know what? Um, somebody else bought it from, from the original, um, company and they changed the formula and people were unhappy with it. Most people are still unhappy with it. So what I did was I fell in love with something that the company that I, um, represent, um, um, offered and it is called Odorone. And this is a body mist or a body spray along the line of Gina Tay but updated for today's woman. Um, and this was the very, we have several scents, um, scent, um, different versions of this. And, but this is the original. In the purple bottle, it just says Odorone. And by the way, um, O means mm, water in French. And Arome is not really spelled, uh, pronounced Arome, it's, it's pronounced Arome in French but we just call it aromes because we're not French. Okay, so this means, um, our uh, ome means scent or fragrance. So this is scented water. All right? <laughs> All right, so, and it's just like um, a Jean de Tay was um, taught it as an after bath body splash or an after bath um, body mist. And that's, um, but you could wear it during the day if you put on a couple extra spritz. And that is exactly what this is. It, you can use it after your bath. I even have customers who spray their sheets with it because it's so very, very light. And by the way, one of the trends that started a couple of years ago was that fragrances started um, hitting either high end um, or very light. High end with um, a lot of oil what they call uber prestige or very, very light scents became the two top um, um, sought after um, versions of body scents. So this one is Odorone and the one in the purple bottle is um, a fruity floral and I have it on now. It's, it's a very beautiful mix of fruits and flowers. Okay, just unique, something you wouldn't, you won't find anywhere else. Fruits and flowers, and I. Another story. I had this on um, twenty something years ago in the post office, and a lady behind me kept stepping up to me and sniffing, and finally I turned around like, you know, is there a problem? So the lady said, No. What perfume do you have on? And um, oh, uh, hi Mary, hi Nancy, hi Kay, hi Elaine. Okay, so the, the lady behind me in the post office said, what is that perfume you have on? And I said, it's called Odorone. And she said, Odor, what? And I repeated again. She was like, well, I usually um, start sneezing or start my eyes start watering and my eyes start itching whenever I'm close to someone with perfume on it. And I noticed that I'm not having a reaction to yours and I can clearly smell it. And so I said, oh, it's a company that I represent um, that sells it. And when I told her the company, she was like, oh my goodness, do they still have almond oil? And so 20 something years later, this lady, she never bought the fragrance, but she has been a loyal almond oil um, per, uh, customer for 20, more than 20 years. She buys it for her mom. She buys it for her daughter. She buys it for her daughter-in-law and she buys it for her aunts and herself. So um, this is the one that I had on and this is original in the purple bottle. Again, it is a fruity floral and it's, I, you know what? There's the fruit doesn't take over the floral. The floral doesn't take over the fruit. It's like the perfect mix. So light and so feminine. All right, so we also have Odorome Amour. And by the way, Amour is French for, uh, what is it? Um, secret love or secret lover <laughs> or secret affair. So 
So this is a very sensual fragrance. It's kind of sweet, but it is also um, what they call a floral. So the, the flowers do come through on this one more than they do this one. This is a, just a great mix of fruit and flowers. This one, the Amour, is more of a floral. So if you love a mix of beautiful flowers, that would be the body spray for you. We also have um, Odorome Ozone. Now this is a, what comes through on this, even though it's a flor, uh, floral, what comes through is the water. So it's got a lower note of florals, but the top notes is water. So it's a watery fragrance. And then finally, for the women, we have Odorone Splendor. Now, this is a special edition bottle with the flowers. The a regular bottle is just green. So we have purple, pink, blue, and green. And for the Splendor, it is um, the, the, the notes that come through are green. All right. So you have so many choices there when it comes to body spray, body mist, body mat, um, splash, whatever you choose to call them. Again, um, several years ago, we had a, the, our, my company had a skincare, I'm sorry, a body care system called, um, oh my goodness, Marine Botanicals. And it came with a body mist. And what happened was my customers started spraying their sheets with it and their bedding with it. And when that scent went away, they were just devastated. And so and they asked me what was close to it. And then I um, I offered them, because that had a kind of an ocean scent to it, I offered them the choice of the Splendor or the Ozone. The Ozone has a little bit of an ocean scent. And they started spraying their, their, um, their um, linen with it and loved it. So if you are the kind of person that likes to spray your sheets or spray your linen, then these are the sprays for you. If you like a light fragrance that you can wear to bed, like a body splash or a body mist, these are the ones for you. You just, you know, hold the bottle away from your body and spray. Now, if you want to wear it in the daytime, you get a little closer and you use a couple of extra sprays and that'll get you a more intense scent and it'll also get you a little bit of longevity with it. All right, so what about you? What was your favorite, your first memory of fragrances? And what were some of your favorites? What did your mom wear? What did your grandma wear? Do they evoke memories? Because that's what fragrances are supposed to do. They're supposed to bring back fun memories, okay? Unfortunately, they can also bring back some not so fun memories because I know there's a couple of colognes that remind me of somebody I, I'd really like to forget <laughs> permanently. Speaking of men cologne, Odorome also has a men version, and this is Odorome Own. And I must say, my goodness, it's my new favorite. My hubby has fallen in love with this. It is so delicious. Every time he walks in the house with it on, I just get up close and start sniffing him. Okay, I can't help myself. I love it. It's my new favorite. Um, and this has a uh, top note tape, not top notes. This has, um, let's see here, salted ice. It has um, white musk. And what's the other ingredient this thing has? Um, white musk, salted ice. Oh my goodness, I forgot the third ingredient. But it the combination is very, very, very delicious. All I can say. That's all I can say. I haven't had anyone try this yet who hasn't fallen in love with it. And I, you don't know a secret, most men, when they try a new fragrance, it's because a woman bought it for them. So if you have a man in your life, this would be a perfect thing for you to get for him. I can tell you. All right. So I'm going to just do a little quick, quick recap here. I'm going to pull my little display up here so you can see. Aha. The Odorone family. And again, the, the pink one is Amour. It's a flowery scent that's kind of sweet and romantic. The purple one is a fruity floral. It's playful and light and um, casual and um, just beautiful, beautiful scent. 
The green one is splendor. And the what, what's going to come through first is the greens. The blue one is ozone. And what's going to come through is the water notes. And of course, the one for men, I can smell all of them. And I can smell the water. I can smell the musk. And I can smell the, the sea salt. And the it's just incredible. I don't know how they got that combination together. But it is absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm going to end this by saying, um, um, giving one more tip and then a uh, special. Um, the, these scents sell, the ladies sell for $30 and this month they're on sale for $21. But people who are part of my VIP group give them an even better deal. So if you're not in there, come see me. Um, the men sells for, no, 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 let's see here. I have moved my um, paperwork all over the place. Ah, oh, here it is. Yes, the ladies is regular 31 and it's uh, it's 21 and so that's um that's $10 off. The men is 34 and it's on sale for 25, okay? And it gets a free key ring right here with it. And that's for this month only. Now, I did something a little crazy today when I was getting ready. I opened a new box of the Amore um new bottle all right, because I could not at first find my sample bottle. So now that I have opened this, I'm not going to sell it. It's going to be the giveaway next Friday for my totally free Friday drawing in my VIP group. So if you want to get in on that drawing, come check out my VIP group. All right, and that's going to be the giveaway. Again, I never sprayed it. I just opened it a few minutes ago and then realized, oh my goodness, there is my, my tester. And so since I open it, I'm not going to try to sell it to anybody. All right, so that's going to be my totally free Friday giveaway. All right, so there you have it. That is the first edition of Sensational Saturdays. I will be sharing some tips, some trends, some some recommendation and some of the most delicious fragrances you can find anywhere in the world and these are sold all over the world i hope you'll drop in and, and spend some time with me there's no obligation to buy i will but you will walk away with a little bit of knowledge and you, hopefully you will walk away with a smile on your face again thanks everybody for joining me i see tracy daniel join us and mark hi mark um and um of course cassandra gail and elaine and some of the ladies that have already acknowledged i really appreciate you for stopping in um do me a favor and just hit the emoji button and give me a wave and if you happen to watch the replay please do the same i really appreciate it remember we have a lot of good stuff that's going to be going on starting immediately in my vip group so and it's called beauty boss friends so if you're not there go over there and check us out and request um entry um tomorrow i'm also going to be on and i'm going to be kicking off my first episode of sunday spa i have some good stuff Sunday spa is going to be off the chain. So please, and it's going to be at six o'clock on Sundays. So join me here tomorrow, same time, same station. In the meantime, I wish you a beautiful day.